In today's video, I thought we can dive more into how you can create these AI influencers I've been seeing so much lately. So I thought we can just go through step by step how you can actually do this for free just using your own computer. You don't need to pay anything, no APIs or nothing like that. So I think it's going to be an interesting experiment. You can kind of see in the background here what we are doing today. So yeah, let's just get started. Today's video was sponsored by HubSpot. More on them later. My inspiration for this video was this article here. So this AI generated influencer can pull in almost $11,000 a month. So this is Aitana Lopez with over 175,000 Instagram followers. And this video from Fireship uh, that is also talking about this. So uh, I wanted to try to do my own version of this and see how far we can get. So yeah, let's just get started. Our first step is going to be to install Focus, so this will give us a new UI where we can start generating images and we can load our model. So this has a good uh, Windows installation, so if you want to do that you can just follow the description here, so just click here to download. And when you run this uh, run.bat here, we will actually download this Juggernaut XL Stable Diffusion model here. So this is what we are going to use. You can also add different other models that are based on... Uh, yeah, it has to be based on stable diffusion, right? Uh, I might do a follow up on that if people want to see other models. But when you have downloaded this, you can just go to your folder. You can run bat here and this will start automatically on Windows. It actually will download the Juggernaut model. You can see I had already done that. So I just got straight into the UI and it's ready for use, right? There's also other ways to install this. You can just use Anaconda on Linux. You can use just Python. So git clone, cd focus, pip install requirements and just run this enter with update.py and basically you will get the same right. Let's just do a quick check to see if it works. So insane robot cac, just click generate and we should get an image here. So you can see I'm running this on a GPU. I actually have an uh, uh, 4080. So this should work pretty good. And yeah, you can see generating our image of a cool robot cat but that is not gonna be our influencer so the next step is gonna be to kind of brainstorm what kind of influencer we are gonna create right today's video is brought to you by hubspot and they are offering us a peek into the future of marketing with their free ebook ai trends for marketers the ebook is over 30 pages packed with insights and it's yours for the taking absolutely for free i want to spotlight this section of the ebook 10 webs practical tips for incorporating ai into your marketing the first tip is to identify where you can actually use ai to improve your marketing the second tip is to pick the right AI tools in this vast sea of tools now. It's crucial to pick the ones that fit your needs and your budget. And tip number three is to learn how to write prompts. This could really take your AI use to the next level. And the final tip is to enhance the use of the tools you already use. So this could be exploring new AI features that already exist within your marketing tech stack. A big thank you to HubSpot for creating this invaluable guide. So don't miss out. Click the link in the description below to download your free copy of the ebook today. Now, let's get back to the video. So, I just went to the free version of ChatGPT, brainstormed 10 girls' names incorporating AI that starts with AI. So, we got some suggestions. Uh, I picked Ayana. So, picked write an Instagram bio for a fitness influencer named Ayana Fit with emojis. Start with that you're an AI influencer first. So, we got this kind of Instagram bio here. Is that what you call it? So, AI influencer, that's first. That's good. Write 10 hashtags to get most likes on Instagram images. I don't know. So we got hashtags. We can use our the images. And yeah, I think that's the research done. So we can just move on to start generating some images. The first thing we need to start with is to create a face. We can kind of face swap in and out in different images. So I just went to the Juggernaut Excel model here on Civit AI. Because I want to copy some negative prompts. This is what we not want in our image. So I'm just going to copy those. I'm going to go here uh, to negative prompts. I'm going to paste in them. So our image number is set to 1. And we're going to pick the 10, 24 times 24. So that's a 1, 1 ratio. And I'm going to select quality. On style, I'm going to pick photograph and keep those. And the model is going to be the Juggernaut XL. Uh, on advanced here, I like to use like 5 and on guidance, just 9. So that's kind of my settings. 
And yeah, that means we are pretty much ready to create a photo here. So all we need now is a prompt, right? So after doing some research here on Civit AI, I came up with this prompt. So this is a 20 year old girl. It's just a portrait, ultra realistic skin texture, big eyes, smile, intricate lighting, light green hair color, and so on and so on. And let's just generate this and see what kind of portrait we can get here. Okay, this was pretty good. Uh, let's do a few more and pick one. Okay, not bad. Okay, the quality is really good. I think this looks great. Uh, let me do a few more and then we ju I'm just gonna pick one, right? So after going back and forward, we landed on this one. I just think this was pretty cool. She looks kind of good, right? I like the details and stuff. So this is gonna be our face. And this means we are now ready to start creating different poses, shots with this face, right? And to do this, we can just go down here into input image. And here we want to select image prompt. And here we have the option to upload an image, right? So we just picked the face we want to use here. Uh, if we scroll further down, we can select advanced here. We can pick face swap. And I like to put the weight here to like 0, 8. Uh, and that means we are basically ready to start implementing this face into different poses we can kind of use for our AI influencer. Since this is going to be for uh, Instagram, we're going to change the aspect ratio. So we want to change it to, I'm just going to pick 3, 5 or maybe 4, 7. I don't know exactly what we need, but I'm just going to pick 4, 7. And I found this prompt here. This was from another fitness influencer. So this is just full body image from the side. Standing in a gym. Muscular wearing yoga pants. Perfect eyes. Muscular body type. Big glutes. I guess that's a good thing for a fitness influencer. So let's generate this and see what we get back. Okay, so this is kind of, isn't this what you see on Instagram? These girls, yoga pants, using like these poses. Uh, you can see the hands, isn't that a bit weird? I don't really care, but you can see kind of the facial expression here is quite good comparing to this. So this is basically the whole idea behind this uh, experiment project, call it what you want. Uh, so we're gonna like, yeah, you can save this image now and just create a whole bunch of those. So let's come up with a few more different prompts and put something together in like a influencer profile. Okay, here she is again now. She's kind of on this couch. I put down relaxing in a big pink hoodie. So we can save that to our profile, right? Okay, so here is one where she's drinking like a shake, protein shake, I put down. Wearing a green hoodie. That looks quite good too. And here you can see dancing in a nightclub with two friends. So this is a selfie. Pretty good, right? Here is just at the beach. Selfie. Again, pretty good, I think. And here you can kind of see we changed up the aspect ratio. So this is performing a push-up. So quite good, I think. Okay, so here we got like a performing a pull-up in the gym, right? So I thought it was pretty good. But uh, you can see kind of the hands are a bit strange. Other than that, yeah, looks pretty good, to be honest. Okay, so the next step then was to go to Instagram to create this profile. You can kind of see I just put AI generated influencer here. And I uploaded some of the images we created, right? And some of the hashtags and stuff. So we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six images. And some kind of reel we could put together here. Uh, I'm not going to play that, but this isn't easy to put together. And yeah, we already got a follower. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to leave that. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to take this. Uh, I guess I can link this profile if you want to go take a look. But I'm probably just going to delete this. This was just for an experiment. But I did some more research. And what I found out is how people did make money on this. Was they go to this uh, OnlyFans. And they these uh, accounts you can people can pay you. Uh, for images or videos to upload. So uh, they do like images like, yeah, more adult content maybe, or some adult images more like these poses like here. And they sell these images. But I don't know, do they disclaim that these are AI generated? 
I haven't looked into that. My guess is kind of no. So, I don't know if that's in terms of service of uh, OnlyFans, but um, I guess that's what I found out during my research. Uh, but I had a lot of fun with these experiments, and I think this is something you can try out for yourself. And But, like, I, I think you should, like, disclaim that this is AI-generated. I don't know, even if uh, Instagram allows this. So, I'm gonna be deleting this, but, yeah, just for fun. Uh, give it a shot. You don't have to do like um, these influencers. You can do landscape photos. I've seen a lot of success with design images. So this was just what I did. So maybe in the future we will do like a design profile. Uh, if you disclaim that it's AI generated, I think that could be good too. But yeah, I hope you learned something. I will leave all the links you need in the description below. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hope this was interesting. Let me know if you want to have more content like this. Uh, a bit different what I usually do, but uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. So have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.